Please be seated. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you to Keila, Avery, Julian, Gonzalez, and Kyle Minch for their presentation of America the Beautiful. And please join me in a round of applause for all of our musicians, including our drummers and our Scottish Piper. To the class of 2020 December graduates, to your families and dear friends, I want to welcome you to this special occasion. Today we honor your educational journey. I also welcome distinguished guests and UNCA's talented faculty, staff, and trustees, all of whom have gathered here today to celebrate your significant accomplishment. I would also like to recognize several elected officials and legislators from Western North Carolina region who love this university, who continue to support us with their lives, their leadership. We are deeply grateful for all that you do for the university. Graduates, these are challenging times in our nation and globally. There is, on any given day, discord, distraction, difficulties in our society and in our democracy. On your journey, you have come face to face with challenges, both on the UNC Asheville campus as we asked you time and again to do your best. The kinds of challenges that you have faced have made it sometimes hard to stay centered and true. But you have exhibited as a class tremendous resilience to resist those kind of chaotic distractions. You have stayed focus, focused. You have risen above the chaos. You have remained focused on your aspirations. Certainly today's celebration was an aspiration you've had for a very long time. And many, most of you, have gone the extra mile to reach this goal of graduation from UNC Asheville with great enthusiasm and your intelligence. Graduates, I invite you now to take a moment to think of some of the tough times and choices, the distracted times for you, that you had in front of you in your journey at UNC Asheville. When you think of those times when it was hard, Think first about how much you've now persevered to this point. Remember the times when you might have been fearful, and then celebrate how you overcame the fears and got on the other side of them. Think of the times when you failed to reach a goal, and what you learned from those failures to become a better student, a better citizen, a better leader, and a better person. Determined perseverance is one of the hallmarks of UNC Asheville graduates, most particularly because our talented staff and faculty asked you to learn how to do that before we would give you your degree. 
Your achievement in our liberal arts and sciences education will benefit you forever. Your education at UNC Asheville has prepared you not just for something, but for anything. You know how to think critically. You know how to discern what matters and what makes you a stronger and better prepared person to be a pillar of whatever community you find yourself a part of. You are the kind of person that companies and organizations will want to hire because you have here, through our faculty and staff's work with you, learned how to learn. You are the kind of person that a company or an organization will promote because all of you have tried your hand at becoming a strong leader in this place. You are the kind of leaders that will make equitable changes that impact and support all of the persons that you meet along your way. Your intellect and your imagination and your creativity enables you to face the challenges of this fast-paced, uncertain, sometimes chaotic and difficult times. You can do this and the world is ready for you. So congratulations on this monumental achievement of earning a UNC Asheville degree. I hope that you will look back on this point in time in your life in the many years ahead of you and realize it was one of very strong intellectual and creative vitality and deep meaning for you. Now, as I noted just a few minutes ago, we are fortunate to be served by an outstanding and accomplished board of trustees. They are the unseen leaders for us, but it's their work and their vision and their holding us to a very high standard that allows us to be the exceptional, distinguished, distinguished and highly academic institution that we are. These leaders bring an array of academic, civic, and professional expertise. They are our stewards, our champions, and our advocates. I would now like to introduce you to several members of the board who have joined us today and ask them to stand until I've introduced all of them. First, the chairman of our board, Richard Latofsky, trustee Karen Brown, trustee Jim Peterson, trustee Sissy Stevens, trustee Oscar Wong, and our trustee and your SGA president, Isaiah Green. Would you join me in thanking these great leaders? Now, here also with us is a very distinguished and special guest, Lou Bissett, distinguished Asheville attorney, former mayor of this great city, and the former chairman of the board of the UNC System Board of Governors. A native of Western North Carolina, Lou Bissett has been a strong, perhaps in some ways the strongest, advocate for higher education in our state and region. He has an outstanding record of service on charitable, civic, and educational boards, and he has also received the Order of the Longleaf Pine, North Carolina's highest civilian award recognizing public service. Lou, would you please stand and be recognized with us today as well? After Lou makes original greetings for us from the Board of Governors, his remarks will be followed by Rick Lutovsky as chairman of the board. You will then hear from our student body president and trustee Isaiah Green. Then a, an address for your commencement address by Dr. Amina Batata, Associate Professor in the North Carolina Center for Health and Wellness, and the 2019 recipient of the Board of Governors Award for Excellence. She will serve by, that, by the nature of that appointment and award as our commencement speaker today. And then Provost Campbell and I will be honored to present you with your degrees. So now, please welcome former chairman of the board of the UNC System Board of Governors, Lou Bissett. Thank you, Nancy. Uh, you know, I, while I was chairman of the Board of Governors, I served when a number of chancellors were elected. 
The last chancellor during my term was your chancellor, Nancy Cable, and I think it was my best selection of the three years that I served as chairman. But don't tell some of these other people. <laughs> On behalf of the University of North Carolina Board of Governors and UNC Interim President Bill Roper, it is my pleasure to bring greetings to the faculty, staff, and alumni of this great university, to the Board of Trustees, members of the Platform Party, and Chancellor Cable, and most of all, to the graduates and their families who have worked so hard to earn this day. So welcome all. Graduates, congratulations. We're all gathered here today to celebrate what you've achieved and look ahead to the opportunities that await you. These last few years have been both a gift and a test, offering you the chance to read and debate and perform and discuss at one of the finest liberal arts colleges anywhere in this nation. UNC Asheville is consistently ranked a top public liberal arts college in the nation by U.S. News and World Report, the Princeton Review, and others. But you know that because you've received so much from this university. You leave UNC Asheville with the ability to think sharply, to act confidently, and to call upon relationships and skills that will carry you far in a complex and demanding world. A little luck helps too, which is why I made sure to stop by the Rocky statue on my way to the campus. As you sit here before us, graduates poised to make a real difference in this world, we celebrate you and your future. Congratulations and go Bulldogs. Thank you. Governor Bissett brings his own notes, so I had to move through. Chancellor Cable, distinguished members of the platform committee, families, relatives, and friends of all of our graduates. It is with considerable pride that I take this opportunity in my first such address as chair to congratulate and address our graduating seniors on behalf of the UNC Asheville Board of Trustees. Graduates, I am honored to join the UNC Asheville alumni, the faculty, and staff, and your friends and families as we celebrate and congratulate you on your achievement in completing your respective degrees. All of your experiences at UNC Asheville have helped you become the individuals that you are today. These experiences are the foundation of your future, those that you plan for and those that you cannot imagine yet. In just a few moments, you will walk across this stage to receive your hard-earned degrees and look toward the future. I know that you will do so with the confidence and capability that comes from receiving your education at this outstanding public institution. You will be living examples of the value of a public liberal arts education. Your journey with this university your university does not end when you leave here today. As respected alumni of one of the finest universities in the nation, the continued support from our dedicated faculty will be invaluable as you seek opportunities to apply what you have learned. As a graduate of this institution, it is your responsibility to use the critical thinking and problem-solving skills you developed here to improve our society and lives of others you will meet along your journey. Your education does not end here because learning, as we all know, is a lifelong pursuit. Once again, congratulations on your significant success. We know you will represent this university with great honor in the exciting years ahead. Congratulations again. Hello. 
It is an honor to be here with you today with this amazing class of graduates. This is a moment for celebration, reflection on the challenges you've overcome and cherishing all that you've accomplished in your time here. While I won't be in your seats for another 12 months, I can only begin to imagine how exciting this moment being here must be. You finally made it. But again, knowing I won't be here for another year, I already understand that this moment is probably intimidating. For some of you, you may not know what's next, but that's okay. Many of you may be looking forward to jobs, gap years, grad school, or just a must-deserved time off, all of which will even better propel you into this world that at times looks more and more overwhelming. But I know enough of you to know that all of this, that all of you will be able to handle whatever life throws your way. Through my time here, I've had the opportunity to work with some inspiring student leaders, including three graduating today, Kayleen, Stephanie, and Santiago. They'll be the first to tell me that no matter how challenging the future looks, they can handle it, and all of you can too. Why? Because this goes for all of you, you're still standing. Where you are right now is not an easy spot to get to. I bet more, that more than once, you thought of throwing it in the towel or quitting, but something inside of each of you did not allow you to give up. I don't quite know what that annoying voice is yet, and maybe you don't either, but I know it is the reason why each and every one of you shouldn't be scared of this next step, whatever it may be. But know this, I need each of you to be who you are, whoever that may be. I believe that each of us were put on this earth for some type of purpose to solve a problem in this world. And now the world is waiting for you to solve the problems that it so desperately needs help with. So in closing, wherever life takes you after today, go in knowing that it will be filled with, one second, a whole set of new obstacles, both big and small, but you already knew that. You've been preparing for it. I am convinced and confident that because of the challenges you've conquered here and have helped prepare you for whatever obstacles come your way, even though you don't need it, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. I am a little shorter than Isaiah, so I'll pull it down. Chancellor Cable, platform party, staff and faculty colleagues, families and friends, and especially soon-to-be graduates. Yeah, woo -hoo. there we go, good, thank you. All right, it is my distinct honor to speak with you on this very lucky Friday the 13th, UNC Asheville's graduation day. And I realized this morning that you are the final UNCA graduating class of the decade. Yeah, come on, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We're gonna get serious in a minute, so some clapping and smiling is good. So here we go. Um, so to you graduates, congratulations on this major life milestone. Now is the time to consider what has brought you here. Perhaps some late nights, dear old friends and some new ones along the way, challenging and fulfilling coursework, family or others' support, deadlines, celebrations, and so forth. And now may also be the time to ponder what is to come. Just like Isaiah said, what's next? Maybe it's a celebratory dinner, a trip, a job, some rest, applications, more school, or the unknown. In any case, graduates, now is your time. Your time is now. Just to be clear, I don't mean that your time is now in a superficial grab the bull by the horns or you only live once kind of way. I mean your time is now in the deepest, most full, complex kind of way. Your time is now is at its foundation, an invitation to pay attention. As Mary Oliver, beloved poet, told us, to pay attention, this is our endless and proper work. The sight of so many people in this arena, the feel of a graduation cap on your head, the sound of laughter and encouraging words. Whatever it is that captures your senses, this is the now that is yours. Each of these sensations may yield a set of feelings from wonder to gratitude and sometimes pain or sadness. What we do with this matters. As Buddhist teacher Thich Nhat Hanh tells us, we have more possibilities available in each moment than we realize. When the Dalai Lama, Tibetan politician and spiritual leader was asked the question, when was the happiest moment in your life? 
After much thought, he responded, I think now. In each now also is the future. It's a cliche and maybe paradoxical, but now is the future. The decisions you make now will affect others and your own lives. So choose wisely. And also know that you can learn with self-compassion from any decision. It is good that our life is filled with nows. For many of you, you will interpret now as a time for action. Action, especially when you know inequalities and suffering exist, is essential. Harriet Tubman, conductor on the Underground Railroad, knew the time was now. Rather than wait for the American Civil War, Tubman returned time after time, now after now, to endure the most challenging and life-threatening situations to guide people to freedom. Granted, your challenges may not be as significant as Tubman's, but you may find yourself asking, what actions will you take in the now? Now is always a product of the past. Zikalisha Redbird, one of the first American Indian reformers of the early 20th century, recalled, in both Dakotas, North and South, I have listened to the same story told over again by a new storyteller. In our now, we must seek out and listen to multiple narratives of people's own experiences particularly the ones that have been displaced and made to seem invisible. Now is our time to acknowledge that our work and successes also are the products of generations, that the lands we occupy were stolen and that our privileges come at the sacrifice of some more than others. And yet, what do we do about this now? In this context, now thinking can be paralyzing. As a UNCA colleague, recently highlighted to me, one also cannot think only of the now consequences of justice, which may include land or economic reparations. We do what we can now because we know that the future is at stake. We cannot wait. As Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said in his famous letter from a Birmingham jail, this wait has almost always meant never. Justice too long delayed is justice denied. Our time is now. Over the years, I've met several students whose passion for action has propelled and concerned them. They are the ones who ask me the question that I dread. How do I keep going in the midst of so much difficulty? I dread this question because I too struggle with it. In fact, it is likely that most of us at some point or points in our lives will spend our now questioning our purpose and our impact. What I say to students may surprise you. I do not think that it is up to us as individuals to go out and change the world. Rather, change begins within us and that it comes from collective action. If we are too attached to a particular outcome, then we may never act. In this respect, I appreciate what Vandana Shiva, Indian physicist and activist has said that the context is not in your control, but your commitment is yours to make. You want it to lead to a better world, and you shape your actions and take full responsibility for them. But then you have detachment, and that combination of deep passion and deep detachment allows one to take on the next challenge. In my work, the challenges lie in the field of health and wellness, in which we are constantly translating art and science into recommendations for well-being. And while there are many now lessons currently trending, I will share three of them with you today. The first has to do with oxytocin, the so-called love hormone. When oxytocin production is stimulated, we reap all sorts of benefits, from relieving stress to improving social relationships. Our bodies release oxytocin when we hug. But, according to researchers, a brief hug is not enough. In order for oxytocin to be released, a hug must last at least 20 seconds. So some, perhaps some of the family members in here are thinking this, but as a mother of two teenagers, I can say this bit of science has come in handy. If you are a hugger, then take some of your nows 
to ask for and hug a little longer. You can release that oxytocin and let it flow. The next health and wellness now has to do with moving. Getting exercise is important, and perhaps more critical is that we not stay still for too long. Scientists recommend that for every hour of staying still, we should move for at least five minutes in any way possible. So this includes wiggling and fidgeting, which I imagine some of you out there are doing right now. Good for you. While many cannot choose whether they have a desk job, we all can and need to look for ways to bring movement into our days. Many of you will be in jobs in which you will find yourself moving all day. However, if not, remember to move now and every now you can. Finally, is the notion of health in all policies. No matter what you end up doing, in the average of close to 10 careers, I'm told today's graduates will have, remember that there is a health implication of most, if not all, decisions. Whether as a business owner who pays a living wage, a member of a board deciding on the direction of an organization, or as a planner expanding an interstate highway, the multidimensional health of people and our environment will be affected by your decisions. Health in all policies reminds us that in the now of decision making, we have the opportunity and responsibility to consider and act in ways that support health. My sense from those of you who I know sitting out there and from the many students that I have known over the years is that you already are now thinkers and doers. Going forward, your nows may not actively involve your classes, projects, or PAL credits. Your nows may not involve daily life on this beautiful campus. Still, UNC Asheville will remain part of you forevermore. And please know that you remain part of UNC Asheville forevermore. In addition to the organizations and clubs you've created and sustained and the policies you've shaped and supported at UNCA, you have affected the lives of the staff and faculty in a multitude of ways. Your questions and contributions have made us better at what we do and in turn have helped us to better the lives of students after you. Your presence also is encoded in this campus space. You are leaving traces that may or may not be measured empirically, but that are certainly felt now and into the future. We are forever connected. In closing, I would like to share lines from a poem by Phyllis Utley, Asheville literary artist, who wrote, every day we create. We recreate who we really are. I see you. I see you see me. I see you see me seeing you. I see you and me. I see us. Thank you, and all the very best to you. It is now my pleasure to welcome to the podium my good colleague, Garrick High Campbell, Provost and Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs. It is our honor together to confer your degrees. Will all the candidates for the baccalaureate degree please stand? Chancellor Cable, these students have completed all of the requirements for the baccalaureate degree and have been so certified by the faculty and the registrar. I present them to you for the awarding of degrees. Graduates, in recognition of your successful completion of the course of study and the fulfillment of your requirements, by vote of the university faculty, with the approval of the Board of Trustees and the concurrence of the Board of Governors, and by the virtue of the authority vested in me by these boards and the state of North Carolina, I confer upon each of you, as appropriate, the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Science in Engineering, or Bachelor of Science. 
You may now take your seat and will be called forward to receive your diplomas. Samuel Wesley Abel. Morgan Michelle Adams, magna cum laude. Shay Elizabeth Amill. Kristen Lacey Arch. Kayla Danae Avery, cum laude. Robin Marshall Bailey. Allison Ann Beatty. Lenora Bierce. Santiago Bonilla, cum laude. Taylor Lee Brazel. Mason Dean Bride. Marquana Mikkel Burgess. Nadia Cano Burgos. Ian Hunter Caps, magna cum laude. Alex Michael Case. Alex Lee Chia, cum laude. Sophia Marie Chirico. Kevin Martin Clausen. Grayson Tanner Kleinert, cum laude. Christina Marie Canzone, cum laude. Bryant James Cooper. Catherine Grace Duren, magna cum laude. Margaret Ann Dillon. Caroline Michelle Dockery, cum laude. Cynthia Duran. Amber Cecilia Jasmine Edler Zollner, cum laude. Amanda Rose Emery. Christian Alexander Ernteman. Daniel Aaron Estes. Skylar Reed Farrow. Leah Nichelle Foyer. Jane Callison Fulshaw, magna cum laude. Roman Fortuna. Julian Covington Gonzalez. Caitlin Ann Graham, summa cum laude. Faith Grenade, cum laude. Stephanie Lynette Grice. Oh, 
Reed Wilson Gudger, magna cum laude. Zachary Hunter Hawkins. Cameron Thomas Hicks. James Ashley Hopkins, cum laude. Elizabeth Ray Humphreys. Anthony Dean Imholtz. Am I behind? Am I behind? Alfred Lewis Jackson the third. Anna Elizabeth James Cum Laude. J. Timothy Jennings. <laughs> Stacy Joanne Johnson. <laughs> Dylan Thomas Jones, summa cum laude. <laughs> Savannah Lee Jones. Stephen Robert Jones. Kem Ra Joseph. Amanda Page Carr. Carter Caroline Kennedy, summa cum laude. Zachary Alexander Longlois. Madison Lee Laws. Morgan Alexandra Likens. Hannah Grace Locklear. Alicia Francis Martin, magna cum laude. Rena Verity Martin. Brian Alexander Maurer. Elizabeth Terrell McCroskey. <laughs> Abigail Faye McSwain. <laughs> Michael Thomas Mealy. <laughs> Jessica Louise Monjovi. Austin Kyle Morgan. Marianne Christina Morgan. Amber Nicole Moser. Laura Brooke Mundy, summa cum laude. Miles Christopher Nyan. Asia Monet Noble. Elizabeth Suzanne Knoll.
Kylie Cherie Ortega. Kevin Joseph Phillips. <laughs> Philip Edward Rabenold. <laughs> Stephanie Leah Riley. <laughs> Madeline Amber Rivera. <laughs> Gabrielle Maxwell Roberts. Oops, Gabriel. Casey Lorraine Robinson. Chloe Nerese Sanders. Vanessa Marie Santoyo Cum Laude. Gianna Louise Seminara, magna cum laude. Ariel Faith Shevsky. Daniel Brady, I'm sorry, Daniel Bradley Smith. Courtney Jane Stoddard, cum laude. Lynn, sorry, Lynette Margaret Stutz. <laughs> Catherine Danielle Thompson. Sarah Elizabeth Tomzak. <laughs> Emily Ann Elizabeth Trotman. Corinne Alicia Twitty. Savannah Ray Van Hoy. Van Hoy. Arthur Dalton Verde. Matthew Benjamin Walton. Ivy Cameron Wambach. <laughs> Rochelle Latoya Ward. Matthew Warlick Wilson. Raymond Alexander Damron. Celine Elizabeth Sharon Gilbo. <laughs> Tiffany Elizabeth Jones. <laughs> Tia Noel Coons. <laughs> Sydney Lauren Levitt. Jody Elizabeth O'Hara Cum Laude. Catherine Elizabeth Stoltz Cum Laude. Sarah Chavis Ahmed. Cameron Peak Adams. Nathaniel Philip Adams.
Faith Brianna Allen. Raina Bonson Armitage, magna cum laude. Ray Martin Arnold. Brittany Morgan Barker Jones, magna cum laude. Nathan Liam Beckham. Jacob Dylan Philip Boone. Kendall Scott Breivogel. Nathan Ryan Britt. Robert Aaron Britton. Madison Page Bruler. Lauren Elizabeth Carmichael. David Chen. Nathan David Coggins. Avery Nicholas Dart. Robert Lee Denny III. Duncan Christopher Durasmo. Jamie Christopher Douglas. Leah Marissa Fagan, magna cum laude. Joseph Matthew Flay. Matthew Lee Fussell. Sarah Gabrielle Hayes, cum laude. Jonathan Lowell Hobbs. Natalie Adele Isler. Christopher Austin Jones. Cade Theodore Justad Sandberg, magna cum laude. Samuel Clinton Keeter. Caitlin Ann Kelleher. Grace Lynn Kirick, magna cum laude. Sarah Marie Kachanowski, summa cum laude. Kayleen Marie Villamer Lee. Q Suk Lee, cum laude. Catherine Ellen Lochran. Kari Kathleen Lumsden. Allison Rose Liga. Emily Marie Messer. Harris Paul Middlesworth, magna cum laude. Catherine Marie Minor. Oh. 
Alejandro Mojica. Shay Delane Morrison. Carl Ryan Mueller, summa cum laude. Kyle Munch. Justin Matthew Muldowney, cum laude. Miranda Tess Murray, cum laude. Anna Catherine Nazemi. Kaylee Marie Teal Nose, summa cum laude. Hannah Marie Nolan. Megan Elaine Odom. Brendan Patrick O'Dowd. Mark Allen Pacetti, summa cum laude. Sebastian Lucas Pinacchio. Joseph Michael Pirani. Sansire Ayantha Pitts, summa cum laude. Maxim Poslovsky, cum laude. Levi Thomas Reese. Madison Grace Rousseau, magna cum laude. Andre Todd Rucker. Latasha Monique Sanders. Hayden Anthony Slater. Marissa K. Spillers, magna cum laude. Jonathan Edward Stockwell, cum laude. Karis Joanne Swatzel. Kevin Segrist Thomas. Stephanie Thea Toot. Madison Grace Underwood. Evan Zachary Warren. Austin Bradley Weiler. Olivia Grace Wellstead. Lucas Michael Westfall. Cody Lee Willett, summa cum laude. Magnolia Wren Montana Wilson. Eric James Wise. Sarah Virginia Wren. Aaron Lynn Yates.
that is so fun to do. <laughs> graduates, congratulations. Would everyone join me in honoring our graduates? Thank you. <laughs> Graduates, would you join me in one more round of applause for all the parents, family, and friends who brought you to this point in time? It's a, it's a tradition at UNC Asheville to give a charge to each graduating class. So here are my parting thoughts to you, knowing that you each and all will always have a home at UNC Asheville. Graduates, now you will leave this remarkable university ready to make your mark on the world as global citizens, as lifelong learners, as educated problem solvers, as change makers, and most important, as UNC Asheville graduates who know what it means to be creative, equitable, sustainable, and intellectual. Now you will take your liberal arts and sciences education wherever you go, putting your ambition into action, rising to meet any challenge, knowing that your education will take you places you've never even imagined. You will carry the vitality of this very unique academic community with you. You will carry the work ethic that you gained here and our culture of inclusion, equity, and fair play. You will make your way in the world having learned that achievement matters and feels good and that doing well by doing right adds value to your heart and to your mind. You will go on to discover meaningful pursuits, and you will share generously your talent, your knowledge, your compassion, and your passion near and far. You will make us proud. You already have. We are deeply grateful to each and every one of you because you have made us, as Dr. Batata said, an even better place. So to the UNC Asheville class of 2020, please stand now and please move your tassels to the left of your mortarboard. And let me say again, <laughs> officially, by the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors, our trustees, and this great state of North Carolina, I proclaim you graduates of the University of North Carolina at Asheville. And now, at this time, I welcome our singers back to the platform to lead us all in singing the UNCA alma mater. The words are printed in your program. Please stand as you are able and all sing along. Hail our alma mater. In the land of 
sky stands our alma mater. Lift your voices high, noble alma mater. Hear our words of praise. Graduates, we are so proud of you. Go forth and make a difference. And now I ask that our audience please remain standing until the platform party has exited and our honored graduates recess. Congratulations to the UNC Asheville Class of 2020. It's a great day to be a Bulldog. <laughs>